Hey guys, it's Laura. It is so good to be back with you again. Uh, I know most of you probably don't know, but I just celebrated my birthday, and the way I celebrated was actually by going out of the country. Uh, so it was an amazing trip away, much needed, and unbeknownst to me until the last minute, um, I knew that we were going to be off the beaten path, so to say, but I did not know just how much until uh, right before we left, and I had zero service whatsoever almost the entire trip. Uh, so because of that, unfortunately, I was not able to post any videos super recently, and I do apologize for that. I hope you'll forgive me. Uh, but I am very excited to be back and uh, starting some more videos up for all of you. And I figured, since I just got back, I would share with you a little bit about what I did and show you some of the things I brought back from my trip. So, one of the places, one of the main areas I was, was in Campbell River which most specifically is going to be a little bit north of Vancouver in Canada. So as you can see here, that is a hot spot for all kinds of species of wildlife, including killer whales. And that was the main focus of this trip, was to see some killer whales. And I assure you, mission accomplished. Uh, at one point we were kayaking, and there was an entire pod of whales all around us. They were jumping out of the water through the air right beside my face. <laughs> they were under my kayak. It was one of the most amazing experiences ever. We also saw Pacific white-sided dolphins, humpback whales, uh, some dolls porpoises, eagles. There was even a black bear actually checking out our tents at our campsite when we came back from kayaking one day, so that was interesting. But yes, uh, so Campbell River. Island. It's actually right across the street from Quadra Island. So that's Quadra right there. Telegraph Cove is actually right where we came out of, where we kayaked from and back into. And all along here is Campbell River. Now this map is a little bit difficult to see, so one of the souvenirs that I was luckily given is this really nice map of exactly where we were. So we were camping and kayaking, doing some hiking as well, right along the Johnstone Strait. So most of the time we camped right over here on Hanson Island, but we also kayaked all around here, which is a hot spot for whales right now because the currents and the changing uh, depths of the water in this area they actually cause a lot of churning up uh, underneath the water of all kinds of nutrients. It becomes very nutrient rich, brings in a lot of fish, which in turn brings in a lot of megafauna, which is really, really amazing. Uh, there was so much wildlife, it was ridiculous. <laughs> so we kayaked also down along the Johnstone Strait, and that's the primary area where we actually saw those killer whales. It's amazing. And for our last night, we actually kayaked across the strait, which you have to be very cautious about. And we camped right over here on this side. So, we had an incredible trip, beautiful views, a little bit chilly for this Florida girl. Uh, it was about 50s, 60s, 70s during the day, and roughly uh, in the 40s in the evening. But we had uh, some good sleeping bags and tents, so it was actually very enjoyable. And right over across from Hansen, this area over here, that is the primary area where we saw most of the humpbacks. So kind of across from Beaver Cove here. And Beaver Cove is right next to Telegraph Cove, which is where we paddled out from. A 
from the company that we went kayaking and camping with. It's called Spirit of the West Adventures. Highly recommend this company. They did an outstanding job. They even surprised me with a gift and a birthday cake our first night there, which was really special, very sweet. And speaking of that gift, I uh, have that here as well. So they, got so they got me this really sweet little pouch. It has a sea star right on it. Super cute. Inside is this note here. It says, Thanks for celebrating with us. Best wishes from Spirit of the West Adventures. This gift is handmade by local Quadra Island artist William Van Orden. William makes molds of real sea creatures and then makes casts and hand paints each one. To provide a soft cushion to transport your gift home, Linda Elias, our local textile artist, designed the pouches from recycled materials she had on hand in her studio. She suggests you either repurpose the pouch to hold earbuds or your phone or use it as a small gift bag and pass it on. Love that. We hope this gift is a nice reminder of the tour you shared with us and brings back happy memories. There's some little sea stars and shells on there. And as you probably have guessed, the cast and mold is a sea star. Beautiful purple. How did they know that's one of my favorite colors? It was very, very sweet. Nice and shiny and sparkly. You can see the back, how it was made here. Really a very sweet gift. Very nice touch. So I'm going to put that back in its pouch. Along with its sweet note. And to be honest, I'm probably going to hold on to this pouch for a while. I think it's very cute. And love that it's made out of recycled materials, of course. Now, while I was there, we took a lot of photos and a lot of videos. I'm not the photographer in the group, um, but I did have my GoPro with me, and I actually got some really neat footage uh, above and below the water, and as I was watching the footage, I was noticing the incredible sounds, uh, the water sounds, and some other nature sounds, so I was thinking it'd be really neat to take all those sounds and put them together in a video uh, for all of you. Uh, it's going to take a bit of some work, so I did want your input. You would like strictly water sounds or maybe different nature sounds. Uh, I got some of crickets, um, the stones when I was walking on them, uh, the water rushing in over the pebbles. I have um, a car driving by on the road, um, gravel road, so it made some really neat sounds. So if you might like to hear that, please comment on this video and let me know and I will make sure that I put it together for you. Thank you. But I did want to show you my GoPro because 
This was an integral part of my trip. Got all kinds of really amazing footage, and I even was able to put it down under the water when the killer whales came by. We're working on putting together a video that um, actually highlights the entire trip from the GoPro footage. I have a drone. Uh, we also have a nice cannon and of course our phones. So we're compiling all the footage together to make a really, really great video. Uh, if you do want to watch it, in uh, the comment section of this video is going to be the link to uh, the Exploridians This Is How You Florida, uh, which already has a couple of other videos. We just started this channel actually but it highlights some of the other adventures that we've been able to go on thus far. So definitely check it out. Uh, we appreciate it and we appreciate your input. But again, this is the Hero Plus, so it's several years old now. And I have all kinds of accessories, so I can wear it on my head, on my chest. So we tried to actually um, suction cup this with an accessory to the kayak. And we tested it out, and within two minutes or so of kayaking, it fell off. <laughs> I was devastated because um, without this stick, which helps it to float, my GoPro went straight to the bottom. And this was at least 15 to 20 feet down in very, very, very cold waters. And at that point, I was also, and all of us uh, in the tour, we're strapped into our kayaks. Uh, getting out would have been um, something that you just did not want to do right then. So unfortunately, even though it was turned on and at the bottom of the ocean with currents, we took off and went kayaking for a good hour and a half, two hours. And when we got back, one of um, my uh, uh, peers there, she actually had a little bit of some dive gear and she was able to go down and after about 20 minutes of looking for it, she found it and it was okay. So I'm extremely grateful and extremely lucky uh, to have been able to get this back. So. Don't use the suction cups if you don't have a way of making it float. highly recommend having these, especially if you're going to be out there filming wildlife or doing things on the go. You don't always have a minute to, to adjust a camera and get it situated, so this is really good for on the go, especially when you're in the water. Get on the go, go for it. Get it. This has a nice little strap too, so whenever I did stick it into the water, I could easily just slip this on my hand as well, so if I lost it, it was still attached to my wrist, and if all else fail, again, this puppy floats. Another thing that I got for this trip um, that came in very handy are some binoculars. So. got these binoculars, and to be honest with you, they were not the best quality. Uh, they came in handy here and there to help spot where things were, but not really see them in good quality. Uh, but I was not the only one there with binoculars. I actually had a second set with it on hand, which was really nice. Because, again, if I wanted to see those whales as if they were in front of me when they were more across the strait, which happened a couple of times, uh, it was very handy to be able to use the binoculars. And when somebody else was filming, I was able to still use these to figure out exactly where they were uh, for filming purposes. Because when you're behind a camera that's zoomed in, sometimes it can be a bit challenging uh, to find what you're looking for. So. Okay. Definitely recommend anytime you go on any kind of nature excursion, wildlife excursion, always have these on hand.
And you can, of course, always adjust based on how your eyes sit and how clear it is. It can be adjusted as well by turning this little knob right here. Until you get that sweet spot. Definitely a worth, worthwhile investment to get a good set of binoculars before going on a trip like this. Okay. Um, while I was there, uh, we also decided to go to the Vancouver Aquarium. Shocker. Uh, so I did grab a little Vancouver Aquarium park mat. Has a cute rescued seal on the back. We saw very many seals, many seals on this trip. We even saw a seal mom and her pup, which is really sweet. It has a little bit of information about what you can see at the aquarium. And I have to say, this area right here, the Wild Coast, was my favorite area because that is where they have a Pacific white-sided dolphin, which is a species of dolphin a bit smaller than what you're probably as familiar with. They're gorgeous, and we actually saw several pods of them swimming by when we were out in the kayaks as well. So it was great to be able to then see them in person right up close after we saw so many of them close to our kayaks out in the ocean. Really a wonderful, wonderful aquarium. And while at the aquarium, one of the things that they gave out were some stickers. And it says, I support the Marine Mammal Rescue Program. I should all support the rescues of these incredible animals, rescues and rehabilitation, and the education that we gain from it to help the rest of the populations. It has a cute little seal on it. <laughs> we actually saw sea lions as well, um, both at the aquarium and in the ocean. And some of us even got to see a sea lion uh, catching and playing with and tossing around a fish out in one of the coves, which was really, really neat to see. Uh, so then I also got myself a couple of souvenirs, and one that I am very excited to be hanging up. This whale wooden piece, just a piece of either wall art or it could also be put next to the stove for when you have something hot to place on top of it, of course. Uh, but I think I'm going to end up using it as wall art, to be honest with you. I think it is a beautiful design, that typical style up there in Canada. That killer whale. I figured this would be perfect to commemorate my very first time seeing killer whales out in the ocean. Something I will truly never forget. Beautiful piece of wood, beautiful piece of art.
decided to hang this up in my home. And then the last item that I brought back for myself is actually a mug that follows that same pattern. So you can see that same art pattern. Again, with the orcas, the killer whales. So this is a 16 ounce bamboo fiber travel mug. I'm going to open it now for the first time officially. Haven't used it at all yet, so it's push up to open, of course. But I absolutely just love the design and the artwork on this bamboo mug. Native Preserve. Your new travel mug is designed to preserve by reducing disposable containers that fill our landfills. Thank you for your part in caring for our planet. The interior of this travel mug is made of high quality food grade 304 stainless steel, which is corrosion resistant. And then it has some good ways of caring for and maintaining and cleaning your travel mug. And that completes looking at um, everything that I brought back from Vancouver, other than my incredible memories. And um, hopefully some of those memories made their way into video and photo format so that I can share all of that with the rest of you as well. So again, make sure you do look at the discussion section so you can go and check out uh, my adventure YouTube channel. Follow along on some of my incredible adventures. And then comment below as well and let me know if you'd like me to do some of the sounds that I was able to capture as well on this trip. Uh, from water sounds to rock sounds, um, gravel sounds, uh, some birds, some crickets, things like that. Or if you'd only like one specific sound in an all-encompassing video. So let me know your thoughts. I would be happy to make that for you. 
Thank you very much again for uh, patiently waiting for me to get back to make a video. I hope you enjoyed this and enjoyed learning a little bit about uh, the trip I took. I highly recommend it. It's great to be back and uh, 